Okay, so right now, my students are in an escape room and they are trying to solve their way out of the ancient, um, the ancient China escape room that I've created for them. So what I did was, I'm um, more than willing to share this with anyone, um, is I have a escape room um, that I've put together for world history uh, with different clues and different things they have to translate. I've given them some documents and I have my student names there, so I'm not gonna go all the way down. And when they win, okay, and they get to the end um, of the uh, escape room, they're brought to their video, which where they will see what their prize is, and their prize is the following. Hopefully there's no ads. That's right. I just rickrolled a whole class full of eighth graders. It's a great day. It's a great day. Have a good day, everyone. my guys i know they miss me um so diary entry for this week um it's a great week before the break uh i definitely shut it down uh, a little bit last week um as well and stepped away from the device um trying to find uh ways to continue building community with my students um what was interesting to me i'm not going to talk about this this week it's going to be something i'm going to discuss next week what was interesting to me uh while we were off for the uh, fall break in Woodbridge Township um, was to, to hear from my students on a Google Hangout that I had, have them text me on Google Voice with all this election stuff going on. I mean, I teach a world history class that we had discussed the election, we had discussed the debates, and we had talked about it. So, you know, it was kind of good to see that. It was good to see them, like, engage and still want to talk about things even though we were on a break. And now part of it might be the time. Maybe they're not traveling anywhere. Maybe they're sitting at home. But I think having that sense of community – and having those discussions about things that are happening out in our uh, our world, um, you know, it's kind of bring things um, kind of full circle for them. And it allows us to really, uh, you know, talk about stuff and also, um, you know, really have discussions that are going to that are going to be meaningful in our class. And that's what that's what I'm focusing on um, with some of my uh, units moving forward is how to continue having these mean meaningful discussions and how to continue to engage the learners that I have uh, both in front of me and the ones that are at home. Um, how are you doing that? How are you building community with your students? That's what I, I'd love to know. Feel free to comment and uh, you know leave me some uh, some information um, in, the, in the comments. So, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing everybody next week. Oh, my dog's coming. <laughs> Harvey! It's Harvey. All right. See you guys soon.